This example is designed to illustrate some more features in Sigma W. One of the main features that I want to illustrate here is how to create a mesh opening within a region and to illustrate once again a further use of structural beams and to illustrate the technique of activating gravity after the structure has been built, so to speak. I believe I have mentioned several times that in numerical modeling, it is not far away from simulating a centrifuge test and that often we apply and build the structure first and then we apply the gravity after the structure has been built. Obviously this cannot happen in real life but it is a common numerical technique. So we want to create a mesh opening with a diameter of 1.5 meters. We want to install a, a tunnel lining, so to speak, using beam elements, then activate the gravity and then to just briefly look at the results by plotting moments and actual forces in the tunnel lining. Going to GeoStudio, open up file SIG07. The problem has been defined to some extent. We have here at this stage simply one analysis and what we want to do is to create an opening that will represent the tunnel and we want to have the center at elevation two meters and draw points. A point has been created here that will represent the pipe invert. The Y coordinate is 1.25 so that the radius is 0.75 meters. The entire diameter is one and a half meters. One of the powerful features of Sigma is to say draw a region creating a circular opening. Clicking at the center of the opening we should have center of the opening and then in this particular case I want to have the starting point of the circle at the invert for convenience at looking at the results. And immediately the measure creates an opening and automatically meshes around the opening. A very powerful feature in Sigma W. We could in actual fact start with material inside the opening by saying draw materials we could fill the opening but in this particular case we don't want to fill the opening it's it's a true opening clicking on the undo button we now have an opening in the mesh and look at how beautifully the mesher has created elements around the opening Secondly then, draw a structural beam. Uh, pipe lining has already been defined by giving it a Young's modulus, cross-sectional area, moment of inertia, and we can plot, click now anywhere on a line. It's a curved line, but nonetheless it is a line. Under key in materials, we have given this soil a unit weight of 
20 kilonewtons per meter cubed. And we've had no previous analyses. Therefore, gravity will be applied in this analysis. So, to repeat what I said earlier, we have created the opening, installed the liner. Now, in this analysis, we are going to activate a gravity. And the, generally, the way this works in sigma w is that gravity is applied the very first time the material becomes active in a particular analysis. In the fill placement, you notice that the analysis in which the region first became active had the one with the, uh, uh, the gravity load applied. Turning off the mesh then, and we can turn off the gravity loading shading, and we can now analyze this problem. Going to the results view, we see that turning on gravity has uh, caused the pipe to settle somewhat, but more interesting, draw a graph and pipe stresses. We want to look at our one increment analysis and set the location under a geometry item and the geometry item is the lining and show the graph and so here we see the moment distribution in the pipe. Now I already referred to the invert elevation if you recall that let's just step back here the invert elevation and the spring lines. This is not the exact definition of the spring line but adequate for reference purposes. Draw graph. Here is the invert elevation and here is the spring line points on the sides and here is the top of the pipe. So we can see the moment distribution in the pipe lining. Let us clone this graph and say pipe axial stresses. Everything else is the same that except we want to look at the axial force. And you can of course see with interest here that this is the invert. And the axial force increases until we reach the spring line where the axial force is by far the highest. And then at the top of the pipe, the axial force being horizontal is a somewhat lower and at base at back at the invert the horizontal force these of course at the spring line they are axial but they are in the vertical direction where the axial forces are the highest so this is a very brief example to illustrate the use of an opening in a mesh and how sigma w can handle the meshing around an opening. We can have something like a structural beam around the edge of the opening to simulate, for example, a pipe or tunnel lining. And then the technique of activating gravity after the problem has been set up to has been set up.